If we've ever been ready for some cracking Saturday night entertainment, it's now. So fans will be delighted that Britain's Got Talent returns this week for its 14th series. David Walliams, Alicia Dixon, Simon Cowell and Amanda Holden are ready with applause, praise and their ultimate thumbs up. The Golden Buzzer, Ant and Deck lend support to the acts before they perform and add their own cheeky input from the wings. Along with the show's co-creator Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden has been there since day one. But she hasn't tired of all the hit, and, Miss Jugglers, cute child performers in mind, blowing magicians who appear on the talent show. If it ever ends for me I'd be thrilled for whoever gets the job next but you know it's the best thing to do in the world, smiles Amanda. Yet she admits that it's not always the easiest job thanks to her boss's erratic timekeeping. It comes with Simon's schedule, and lots of hours of waiting, but overall most people are very envious. We get to do it, she reckons. As the team went into auditions at the start of the year, Amanda was hoping to see one type of act shine. It would be amazing to have winning choir, to see that at the Royal Variety performance, because they have all shapes and sizes, ages and ethnicities, they've got everything. It's always fun guessing when the judges and Ant and Deck will press the golden buzzer to fast, track and act. This year did it on about day 4 or 5 in London, recalls Amanda. Last year. Pressed it on the first day. Was bit more measured this year. Everyone knew was going to press it before did. Apparently kept staring at the buzzer. The producers were saying, OK get the man with the gold confetti on standby. The amazing outfits worn by Amanda and Alicia for the live shows have become talking point. There have been numerous complaints to Ofcom about Amanda's risque clothes. But the cheeky star says she isn't tempted to tone them down. No, I've gone the other way. She laughs. I'll say. No. There's not enough flesh on show with that one. We should also expect plenty of banter from the judging panel, who have been together since 2012. There've been couple of golden buzzer acts that we've all liked and it's case of who gets there first, Amanda explains. But we have different taste and like different sorts of acts. That's why it works, because of the chemistry, the friendship and ease between us. We take the mickey out of each other. We're bit like stage, managed. Version of Gogglebox. And while they may be the best of friends, Amanda admits that David couldn't resist lording it over the other three after this year's National TV Awards in January. He won the TV Judge Trophy for fourth time, prize that Simon Cowell has never got his hands on. Oh yes, my gosh, laughs Amanda. There's whole episode devoted to it. He's not played it down at all. How COVID 19 will affect BGT this series will be bit different to previous ones due to the coronavirus restrictions. It's kicking off with several weeks of auditions, starting this weekend. When those episodes have been screened, there will be pause until it's safe for the Britain's Got Talent team to get back together and broadcast the live semi, final shows and the grand final.